Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeannie. This is Unfiltered 50s. And if you have never been here before, let me extend a big welcome to you for stopping by my channel. And in today's video, in this video, I am going to be doing a collective little haul for you and letting you know what I have picked up recently. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of a try on with some of the products, what I have on my face right now. I have already done my brows with this bougie little uh, hourglass arch product in the shade Ash. I got this in my box set, box set, box set charm box, and I have to say, I would have never picked this up because it is bougie, and I don't do bougie eyebrow products because, you know, I'm like, oh, I can just pick that up from the drugstore, but let me tell you, I am so impressed with this because, you know what, my drugstore products don't stay on where I really need them to, which is where I fill them in right here where I don't really have many eyebrows. What I do have is really, really blonde and it just like smears off right there. So, you know, about three hours into the day, I'm left without any product right there. So, you know, I'm liking this so much. Oh my goodness. That Dadgum BoxyCharm, let me tell you, they get me hooked whenever they put in these bougie products. They get me hooked on that mess. And so I don't know, is that good or not? Then I have to go on Macari and see if I can find someone else's bougie mess that came in their <laughs> box that they don't want because I get hooked on this so bad. Oh, and I am an hourglass fiend. I love hourglass products. You know, I am a glow ho and I love me some glowy products. So, you know, you know that I love, love, love glowy stuff. My channel used to be called to get this glow in. And while this isn't the glow show that Hourglass usually is, this stuff works. I love it. I love their eyeliners. I love all their liners. So you just don't get much. Um, I would love to be able to tear into this and see just how much <laughs> is actually in this sucker. But so far, I still have some left and I'm loving it. So that's what I got, although that isn't part of the haul. I was just saying, that's what's on my face. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I went off on that on a tangent. Then I'm also um, still like using this loving it. Um, your Skin But Better Foundation from It Cosmetics. I love It Cosmetics foundation products. This is no exception. This is some good stuff. So if you're wondering about it, I'm loving it. It says uh, Your Skin But Better Foundation Plus Skin Care. Uh, do I really think there's a lot of skin care in here? I don't know about the skin care. But I love the foundation. It's a dimethicone based foundation. And if you look at the ingredient deck, woo, way down, it, there is a little bit of uh, skin loving ingredients. I guess it's better to have a little bit than nothing at all. But um, that's pretty much what you're getting a little bit. <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> if you look at the ingredient deck, it's way down there before you get to the aloe leaf uh, juice powder and the sodium hyaluronate. So yeah, they can say it's in there. It's on the ingredient deck. You just got to really read way on down there to get there. But whatever, it's beautiful on the skin. So I'm loving that. Now, let's get on to the haul. I picked up some things from Ulta. I picked up some things from Sephora. Um, Nordy. Beautylish. Yeah. Um, another haul from Boxy Pop-Up. So, yeah. And a... I picked up a... Um, 
uh, an Ipsy, um, one of the Ipsy shopper deals, and I was really, really pleased with that. First of all, I wanted to show you something that I picked up. You know, I love, I have all of the Ricky, uh, loves Ricky mirrors. I have the huge, big one right here that I use. I have the smaller one that um, I use for travel. And finally, I picked up, this is the Ricky Loves Ricky handheld. And I just, I am loving this. I'm hoping to give up this one right here. This is part of the Ricky Loves Ricky. It comes with the big one and it comes with the medium one. And this um, just fits on the mirror and it's the magnification one. And it just has magnets in it that just sticks on it. But this one right here is the Ricky Loves Ricky you can pick this up at Ulta and it has a little button and so it has a light and it gets really pretty bright. See how it goes up? I just love these things and they are just oh so awesome for doing your makeup. So I'm hoping that I am going to be able to use this one instead where it won't be so dirty because this one gets dirty on the back and then all the time I <laughs> I see it whenever I'm editing that I've got a um, something metal stuck to the back of it. Usually it is a uh, bobby pin that's usually stuck to the back of this one <laughs> because it's magnetic so I am hoping to be able to give this one right here. Uh, this one's called a Ricky Cutie and it does have you know, lights on it. So I really am loving this one. So let's just start out with um, one of the things that I hauled was uh, from Colored Rain. You know I love Colored Rain. And I haven't decided which palette I'm, I'm going to try to use today or if I will even have time in this video to use a palette or if I'll have to do a separate video. But I did pick up the Juicy Boost. And guys, this is so gorgeous. I am loving it. And over here, you have three shimmers that, whoo, they are to die for. Let me swatch these for you because really, you just can't appreciate them without seeing these pressed. And they are shimmers. They are just absolutely amazing. Like, this is what they look like. Here they are swatched. They're just to die for. But then you also have this one dark, dark green called Kale Yeah. And it almost looks like a black. It is so gorgeous. I can't even believe it. And this one called Mint Leaves that goes with it. It is so amazing. I'm just, I'm just living for it. I, oh, it's so good. So good. And these three right here, the Lemon Wheat Grass Shimmer, the Kel yeah, and the Mint Leaves. Oh, I'm dying to use that in a look. I am dying for it. So, yeah, that's, mm, that's what I'm wanting to do a look with. So definitely that's, that's what I'm wanting to do today. Oh, so, so gorgeous. So absolutely gorgeous. I'm just, just living for that. So I can't wait to use that. Um, I picked that up, and then I picked up another one of the Book of Shades while they still have that 50% off um, to have for me for a backup because I just gave away one of those on my Wednesday Night Live. So, yeah, I definitely like to keep one of those in my backup drawer because my book is almost finished. So the palette also came with the neatest little 
juice. Uh, pressed juice recipes on a pamphlet and I cannot put my hands on it right now. I think maybe I took it downstairs already to the kitchen. So that was really neat. It may be in this box somewhere the more I get down towards it. But anyway, then um, from Mercari, I went ahead and found a, another backup for me for the Banana Bright Face Primer. Since I'm almost out, I picked this up uh, from someone's BoxyCharm box. I love this primer, and well, while I could get it on a good deal, I snagged one up. So I did pick that up off of Mercari. I went ahead and I bit the bullet on the large version of the Tom Ford Soleil Bronzer. Um, this is the one in O2 Terra that I have the small one of. I have been eyeing this for a while and I'm just afraid that I'm not going to get it if I didn't go ahead and get it. And this is my favorite powder bronzer, one of the top faves of mine, so I definitely wanted to pick that up while I could, so I went ahead and snagged that. So for the um, Ipsy deal, um, it was the CEO, it was like um, maybe a 20 something dollar deal, maybe $25, something like that. It could have been $30. i am not really sure. But it came with the CEO uh, Vitamin C Hydration Cream from Sunday Riley, which I love. And I did not get this in my boxy. I didn't choose this as my choice item. So I wanted another one of these. I picked this up. But what it came with was a three-pack of the uh, Vintage Cosmetics uh, cleansing cloths, which are my favorite. I like these much better than the makeup eraser. Then it came with the um, glam bag from, I think it was January's glam bag, uh, makeup bag, and then it came with a lot of really nice samples, um, deluxe size samples that I sent to a friend in her box that I just sent out recently along with I sent her one of these because I wanted to let her try these because they are my favorite and I love sending these in people's boxes just to let them try the Vintage Cosmetics brand because I feel like that this brand is um, underrepresented, undertried, under talked about, <laughs> underrated. <laughs> So, under everything, I love the Vintage Cosmetics headbands, the Vintage Cosmetics um, towels. I love everything about Vintage Cosmetics. I think they are a great, great underrated brand. So, I did pick those up because I thought it was a great deal to be able to get the three-pack of claws plus the cream plus all of those samples. And so, I did send that to my good friend. And I went ahead and I picked up um, the two new Hourglass Blushes. So I know that you have seen these that Hourglass came out with two new shades of blush and this one is the one called At Night. It's the darker ruby red color. Guys, 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 this is so gorgeous. I absolutely have to show you this. So pretty. So I'm going to go in with um, a Sigma um, F15. This is the um, Duo Fiber. And oh my goodness, I love, I love a red blush. So one called At Night. I'm loving this. And then I also picked up the one called Sublime Flush. 
and I thought this was going to be the one that I loved the most, but actually it's not. Um, it looks like this. It is beautiful, but it's a very, very pale pink, like a grapefruit pink but it's definitely not the one that I'm loving the most. You know, I am a big blush thing, so it's not the one that I love the most. Although, you know, it is gorgeous. It is really, really pretty. I love the At Night. That is the one that just, boom, I love it. Oh, so good. And then I also picked up, um, I did not have the translucent born this way powder i really wanted to try it i have not tried it yet but i picked this up off of mercari i am a huge mercari shopper and i really wanted to try this so i did pick that up um, because i didn't get that in my boxy box and i really wanted to get it in my boxy box so it is um I'm just now opening it. There isn't a seal on mine. So, yeah. Let me know if yours came with a seal over the heart or not. Mine doesn't have it. I'm just wondering if it's supposed to. I mean, it has this closure top that I really, really like, but I would think that it would have a seal over that, just, you know, like most powders probably should. I don't know. I think I like the powder. Just on this first application, it looks pretty nice. So, you know, who knows? Did I get a used one? You know, did somebody sell me a used one? I, I have no idea. I don't know. You know, such as the breaks of Macari, right? Said new. Ugh. Sometimes. Let's just set that with some setting spray. Okay. So then I Jess sent me this Bella Pierre um, contour palette that I really, really liked. I saw her um, get this in one of her boxes. I do like all of this for color correcting. I have not had the chance to use it yet, but um, she did send that to me. So that was really nice of her to share. And um, then uh, from Boxy Pop-Up, uh, did pick up another, not Sephora, Violet Boss, <laughs> Violet Boss Pro, and this is the hashtag palette, and it's just gorgeous. So I am so tickled to be able to get these at such a good price because I do think that the Violet Boss palettes are really good. So yeah, very, very tickled to get these. I just love the gold uh, shimmers in here. Love, love this palette. Let's see, Jess did send me um, to this Catrice um, Prime and Fine Dewy uh, Glow Fixing Spray, and I love this. This is really, really good. I happen to really love these, and you can't get them anymore. So, she did send that to me, and I love those. Um, along with the um, Lippy Powder in Hot Cocoa, and I'm really liking that, and the Dirty Lamb Ultra Day Serum, loving those. The other thing that I picked up from <clears throat> Boxy Pop-Up, love these, and they were available to buy by themselves, and this is the... Um, Luxie brush cups 
and these are so super duper nice. You can use these for travel and just put your brushes inside and they will snap shut. Or you can separate them like this and you can have two brush cups if you're just going to be at home. Either way, they're really, really awesome. These I got so that I could separate my brush sets and they're a little bit smaller so you know they're more that way I can contain more individualized brush sets and I could say oh you know these are all of my Hank and Henry you know in one container so I'm really really liking the fact that I picked these up and I've got a few extra brushes from Hank and Henry that I bought but still they hold what I bought from Hank and Henry so they pretty much hold a brush set so that's awesome and then I'll be a I should be able to put all of my Wayne gauze in one really really excited to have all of these together in a type of container that match you know because I've got a lot of brushes so very excited to have these containers. But the other things that I picked up at Ulta was the uh, Bite Size Shadow Palette from e.l.f. and I did not see their blush highlighter duos, $3 blush highlighter duos, or I would have hauled that, but I wanted the Rose Water. And I got the one that is, uh, oh, what is the shade? It's like a brownish color, and so I've got one of these, And but this is the one that I really, really wanted, was the rose water color. So I've only got one of the $3 bite size so far, and I picked up, these were buy two, get one free, so I did buy two, and I got one free because these are my favorite mascaras. This is the uh, Lori... L Unlimited. So I picked up those just to put in my stash. And then I picked up the Nabla Skin Bronzers. And I picked up the one in Ombra, which is the lightest. And then I picked up Dune. And I'm really liking these. So I have a lot of the skin glazing highlighters. And I didn't pick up another, like, they're like blushes, kind of. They're between a highlighter and a blush. I didn't pick up any of the new ones. I didn't pick up um, the new one that came out. I didn't get that. But I did pick up the two bronzers that are new. That was the lighter and medium color. Uh, again, it's Ombra and Dune, and I thought I was really on the fence about the new highlighter in, um, oh, the shade is Lola and Independence. I've got Truth. I may have Ozone, but Independence is really the one that I was wanting and I just went ahead and skipped it uh, because of some of the digital dust that I have from Melt. So yeah, I skipped Independence. So yeah, um, so I don't, I don't know if I will end up changing my mind about that or not. But those are the ones that I picked up and yeah, I, um, I'm really, really liking this one that's in Dune. Let me put some of that on for you because I really don't have any real strong. These, you really need, um, these are kind of hard packed. They're really, really hard packed. So you really need some type of a stiff, stiff brush to get in there and, and get it out. And if you don't have a strong enough brush to get in there and get it out, 
then one thing that I suggest, if, if you're just not getting it out stiff enough, just go in with your sponge and just get it out with that. But it's a pretty, it's a pretty deep, like you're going to need like a duo fiber. And, and I've got this F15 that I'm using. And I think that that works pretty good. Like... Like, this one's pretty dark, actually. Like, this one will bronze you up pretty well. Like, that might even be too dark. So, you may end up needing to kind of go in with some of that powder. That looks way better. Okay, so yeah, but they're they're kind of hard to get get it up off the pan. But once you do, I think that they're pretty. They're not as glowy as I thought they were going to be, being Nabla. Um, but they are really really nice. Um, I do like them. And so then um, for. Uh, lips. I haven't really bought anything. I haven't. I'm wanting to get the Juvia's Place lips. I haven't done that yet, but those are on my radar. Um, I am still um, in love with my uh, big box of lippies, and I just. That's really the thing that I have been using of late, and I haven't really changed anything. So, yeah, that's, that's basically all that I have hauled. Um, I don't really see anything else laying around uh, that I have gotten of late. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope that you enjoyed uh, this video. Um, have you hauled anything? Oh, shoot. Oh my goodness. Yes, I do. I have one more thing. Um, I will be doing a dedicated video on this apologizing to Wayne Goss. Um, I said that this was the most boring palette ever. Um, I bought the Wayne Goss. Uh, this is the Luxury uh, Eye Palette in Imperial Topaz. Guys, um, the color story to me is boring. It is. I guess I can't really say that this is not a boring neutral palette. Um, <clears throat> but the more and more reviews I saw on this, the more and more intrigued I got. <sighs> this, if you like neutrals, if you like neutrals, you know, I should not have doubted Wayne. I really shouldn't have. And you know I change my mind a lot. I do. I change my mind a lot. So, so this is not unlike me. Um, I picked up this palette. I have yet to try all three eyeliners that I picked up, but I picked them up. I'm going to do a dedicated video 
So, <clears throat> I've used this palette. I'm speechless. I'm really speechless. So, I can definitely say I don't have a problem apologizing. I have no qualms saying I'm wrong when I'm wrong. And this is one of those times when, wow, boy, I have enjoyed eating the crow. Mm, like, serve it up on a platter, full force, because this is so enjoyable to me. This palette is so good. I have really enjoyed this palette. I love when I'm wrong about things, and it brings me this much joy. So, yes, Wayne, I love your palette. I have been so wrong about this palette, and I love it. And, you know, is this a bright, fun color story? No, not really. But um, the black is so good in this palette. Wow. And, you know, I think it's, I think it came on the heels for me of the fact that I really hated the Desert Haze. I think that that set the tone. Had I not bought the Desert Haze palette, I think I would have been on this from the get-go. But that Desert Haze palette really put a bad taste in my mouth. I really did not like that palette. But whatever, for whatever reason, I'm not making an excuse. I said it was a boring palette. I said I didn't want it. I said I didn't want to get it, and here I am with it. Whatever. I owe Wayne an apology. There it is. I apologize, Wayne. This is one of the best palettes to have come along in a long long ass time. I love it. It is so good. Hats off to you, Wayne, and to many more. Bring it on, baby. Bring it on. I'll be buying any palette that that man makes because this formula is killer. So if you haven't picked this up and it was, you were wondering about it, if I, you know, <laughs> If low me made you not buy it, please, you know, don't listen to me <laughs> about this palette. Go get it. It's good. It is really, really good, and I will be doing a dedicated video on it. I have been so wrong. So, yes, this was one thing that I hauled from Beautylish, and it's so freaking good. So, yeah, loving it. So, mm, mm. La, 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 love it. So, yep, I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Take a little bitty moment and click, click, click the subscribe button down below. And trust me, I haven't um, put on the charge button. It's completely free. I keep it free on my channel just for you. And uh, it's the big red button down below. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the post notification bell. That's free too. I don't charge for that either. And uh, I hope that you are doing very well and you are enjoying your day. I hope everything's going great for you in your neck of the woods. Let me know how your day's going. What are you doing out there? What's going on with you? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Have you hauled anything? Let me know. Have you picked up anything great? How's it going? How's it working out for you? Is there anything you don't like? Is there anything you're returning that I need to stay away from? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And remember, no matter how big or small, make the most of your opportunities and smitches everybody. I'll see you in my next video. Hugs and kisses to you. Bye guys. Bye till the next time.